You are listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. I'm Alex Perez, and I'm online with Mike Morales, our executive editor. How are you, Mike? I'm doing great, Alex. Great. Glad to be back in New Mexico. I, as you know, I spent a couple of weeks in Chicago. The Windy City? Yeah, the Windy City. It was nice summertime. It was a little humid. Uh, I spent a, a, a good amount of time with our friends Jason Lerner and Alvaro Chavez from Masasun. That's the new tequila bar in uh, in uh, Logan Square, which is a, a section of downtown uh, Chicago. Beautiful location. What a bar tonight! Congrats to them. Yes, and tonight while we're filming, this is their grand, their official grand opening. So Jason is probably busy singing with the mariachis right now as we speak. We wish you the best, guys. Success. Yeah, absolutely. We we hope to visit and do something live from from the tequila bar there uh, sometime soon, perhaps. Excellent. Well, what's on the menu tonight? Tonight uh, we've got Grand Mayan. Look at this bottle. I don't know if you can see this. I might have a little too much light on on there, but you might not be able to see this very it's a clearly. Beautiful bottle. It's a beautiful. A yeah, there you go. It's, and, um, it's so nice. I actually didn't want to unwrap it. Me neither. And open it. I mean, it's this is all hand painted. Uh, each of these are painted by hand, so the colors are going to be different. Each bottle is a collector's item, and I believe they're also numbered. If I'm not mistaken. Look down at the bottom here. And this is a 375 that we were sent by um, uh, my folks at Grand Mayan. And this is a, uh, well, just so you folks know, for those of you who follow this, we, uh, we'll tell you what the gnome number is, and you, you, you'll remember, you'll know who this is made by. I can tell you it's, a, uh, it's 1137. This is a La Cofradia product. Uh, and for those of you who are fans of La Cofradia, you know that um, uh, all of their tequilas have, uh, uh, there's a certain underlying flavor profile, even though these are all different tequilas, there's something about La Cofradia that you can just pick it. If you, if you have enough experience with different tequilas, You'll know this is a La Cofradia product. And this is an Añejo. Is that right, uh, Alex? This is the, yeah. the only product that Grand Mayan produces. It, yeah, it's, it's actually an ultra-aged Añejo. So that means it's uh, it's five years. Okay. All right. It's been aged five years in, uh, in oak. And uh, yeah, again, I haven't tasted it yet. Me, well, I've had some, but you can see how beautiful the bottle is. And La Cofradia is known for, for their bottles. Uh, uh, many of these bottles are very unusual. For those of you who are collectors of the 1137 bottles, you know how different they are. This is a, a, a beautiful piece. Now, there may be a little bit of... I, I know that Ryan uh, Ryan Kelly, our, our senior editor, had some delivered to him as well, and there was some uh, leakage, some leakage. Which, which may happen with the cork. If you see the cork, it's a... You know, these are, again, artisan... Uh, made by hand, so uh, there may every bottle is different. There may be some leakage. Hopefully not. They they try to make it uh, so that it doesn't happen. But this is just it's just the artwork on the bottle is it's beautiful. And let's let's pour some in this in, in the Riedel. And Alex, why don't you tell folks what 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 we're using as far as a glass? Well, we always use the uh, Riedel glassware, and it's the Riedel Overture. And it's the uh, official uh, tequila tasting glass. Uh, in a uh, añejo, you probably wouldn't use one of these, but it'll work. But we are um, most most folks, especially an ultra aged añejo or, or uh, extra añejo. A lot of folks prefer the uh, the cognac uh, snifters, maybe a, a much larger snifter, not the mini snifters that you, you see in some of these uh, as souvenirs. But uh, for our purposes, we, we use a, a real glass. And Alex, this color is it's a deep, it's a beautiful color. This has really got some nice. Um, it's got a deep, like a deep copper. Yes, yes, a deep copper. It's and, beautiful, uh, beautiful color. It's got some nice tears and legs coming down the glass.
Now, I looked up some information on these guys. They actually got a uh, an award not too long ago, actually in March of this year. They went through the Ultimate Spirits Challenge 2011, which is the um, it's headed by uh, Paul Paul uh, Paco. Paco, okay. And they got the uh, Chairman's Trophy. This is really exquisite, just just from the look and the smell. This is very, very unique. Very unique. I'm I'm really in love with the color. Um, this is uh, for some reason this color for me is very reminiscent of, of some of the extra añejos that I've had uh, that are way more expensive than than uh, the Grand Mayan that we're having tonight, and. Um, that's yeah, just beautiful. That's just a beautiful. What do you smell at the top layer, though? Well, you know, you get a little brown sugar in there. Definitely in the caramel. Almost, almost even just a lightly burnt sugar. Oh, you look better now. Thank you. <laughs> it's got a really beautiful color. It's very sweet to the nose. Yes. Well, let's see what we taste. Hmm. Wow. There's a lot of alcohol in there. I was going to say, it's still very alcoholic, and I think because it's not a glass bottle, it's a clay bottle, um, wow. which is, there. I guess there's good and bad things about that because there's not a whole lot of alcohol um, dissipation in the clay bottle. It seems it seems as if it's retaining the alcohol, but it doesn't take away from the flavor, though. No, it's it's very good. Now, Alex, you didn't you had you hadn't had any. No. Um, so you you just opened your bottle. I've had some, um, and my has box it, has been capped for you know four weeks at least. Has it changed for you at all since last no. time we tasted? In fact, I I did I did notice that there's a lot of alcohol. Um, and, and so what I would, what I would recommend in my, in this case with, with Grand Mayan is maybe let it bloom a little bit, let it open up and let it sit maybe for 15, 20 minutes before you decide, you know, uh, do a little bit of this, uh, swirl it a little bit, let it open up, uh, maybe dissipate some alcohol because I think that the clay bottle, um, has a tendency to, to encapsulate. There's no alcohol escapage. There, there's no fumes that are that are escaping. At least not in my bottle. And I didn't have any leakage either when it was delivered to me. It was in perfect shape. So, wow. It's very very unique. I, I expected it to be heavier, real oaky, because of because of the color, and it's not. No. It's actually light. And the aspect that it's not that's that the wood hasn't overpowered it, especially with being uh, in a barrel for five five years. You know what it reminds me of, Alex? It reminds me of rum. Mm -hmm. And I know you're you're a big rum fan. I I have I know a little bit about rum. I only carry I only have like one one brand of rum in the house, and you know what brand that is. But I know you you experiment with your palate, so you. But it reminds me of a rum. It does. It's, it's because you know, of the because of the sugar tones in there. Yeah, it's that it's that uh, that brown sugar that's making us think of the uh, of the rum. Yeah, you hit it on the nose. It's very very unique. I like it. There's something in there though, Alex. There's a there's a there's something I'm not I can't pinpoint. 
and it's not anise, and it's not it's not herbal. It's spicy, but I'm not sure what I'm getting. I, I don't want to say it's cinnamon, but Hmm. It's hard to say. Do you, do you get what I'm what I'm? There's there's something else in there. Yeah, and I can't pinpoint it. I don't know if it's a mineral or if it's a uh, 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 a spice. And it's not cloves. It's not you know. I'm not getting any of that. I'm inclined to say that it might be a little a little pepper in there. I, I can't I can't pinpoint it. It's the only thing I can think of. Like I say, it reminds me of some rums that I've had. So I just serve me a little bit more. No, there's a lot of brown sugar in here. Maybe that maybe that's all it is that I'm that I'm brown sugar molasses maybe. Molasses could be molasses. It could be because it's am a I, lot. Am richer. I thinking too much of rum now? Well, <laughs> I mean, it's it's a lot richer than just brown sugar. You know what yeah. I mean? It feels like a like a burnt sugar, um, but without the without the bitterness. There's no real bitterness. But there's like, a, you know how when you caramelize sugar, it's like caramelized sugar, maybe. Right, right. Uh, um, my mother, years ago, would make homemade flan. And, you know, you have to caramelize mm. sugar, and you have, that's a science, because if, yes. you, if you burn it, it tastes like, you know, what? But you, it, there's a certain point where it reaches perfect caramelization, then you, you take it off the burner and pour it over your flan. And so this is what it smells like to me. It smells like more than just brown sugar. It's almost like a caramelized brown sugar. You know what, too, Mike, is I can actually do have agave still coming through here. Well, okay. I can. It's almost like you got some roasted, roasted agave still coming through. Well, uh, you know, La, La Cofradia, they, they, they bake it. They have no, as far as I remember, they have no autoclaves. So they bake these. Mm. That is very, very nice. Yeah. Um, this is, the, the quality of, of Grand Mayan is really the quality you would expect from any La Cofradia product. Uh, in my opinion, it does not, um, uh, it will not um, disappoint. It's really very, very good. Uh, more than that, um, I put it up there with any of the other extra añejos that you're getting uh, right now. Plus, you get a nice collector's bottle as well. I mean, the bottle itself is probably worth, you know, what you're going to pay for. And the, the and and there's a lot of substance on the in the liquid inside. I'm very impressed. And I'm not much, you know, I'm not much of an añejo guy, but uh, there are some really there's a lot of layers to this. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot going on in here. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. It's it's very it's very rich. Mm-hmm. And it's got a nice long finish to it, but it's not overpowering. No. Uh, the only thing that, the, that may disappoint you would be that the alcohol uh, content that the clay bottle seems to, to encapsulate. So my recommendation is let it open up. I use a cognac snifter maybe where you get more of that, uh, more of the alcohol dissipating quickly, but. Um, other than that, man, this is really a beautiful spirit. And the color, you could just look at the color alone. I could just look at that copper color all day yeah. long. This is really by far um, one of the nicer extra añejos out there. Do we have a price uh, uh, Do we have a price point on this one, Alex? You no, know, I do. I do. I actually, it looks like it's um, going for $70 to $80 a bottle. Uh, I actually saw it just even even just for a little less than that. So I, I think it's at, at the full seven fifty. We we of course got the three seven fives. Now I guess it does come in the three seven five as well. This is a. Would you say this is a dessert um, añejo, or would you do like? A, 
uh, well, I know you don't you don't smoke cigars, but what, I don't know if I would consider this a cigar extra on though. I I think it would take away. I I I I think you know what. And this is not a dessert on Yeho either. Certainly one for after dinner though. It, it would be for after dinner. Some some añejos and extra añejos, I, I I would say you know drink it liquid dessert, just have it for dessert or have it with dessert. But this is not one of them. This is there's a there's that I don't know what I'm getting. At. Like I say, I, the only thing I can think of is that that burn molasses or the or the uh, the, the caramelized brown sugar that that just just gets to that point where you have to pull it off the burner. Um, but I, I would even I wouldn't even I wouldn't even call this a uh, there's no smokiness as far as I can tell. Is there a smokiness to you? No. 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 So I I probably wouldn't even recommend it as a as a as a cigar uh, añejo or extra añejo, but. Wow, just on its own, man. On its, its own, it's, I, I think it's a beauty. Yeah, this is definitely a beautiful spirit. Uh, Grand Mayan, again from eleven thirty-seven from La Cofradia. You can't go wrong with this, and the price point's very good, Alex. Um, Seventy-eight yeah, well, dollars a, a bottle for seven fifty. That's that's really good. Yeah, and the three seven five. I'd say I'd say uh, good things come in small packages. I love it. Hey, yeah. Excellent. I think I think this is a, a winner, a keeper, and, and highly recommended. Most definitely, especially if you like the um, the um, extra aged uh, añejos. It's I think it's it represents the category very well. I do too. Um, you know, and the extra añejos are a science right now. They're they're really. Uh, I, I think it allows for the master distiller to be very creative with what they're doing. Um, I I like this a lot. I I this would be one of the extra ideas that I'd have in my library. Most definitely. Well, I think uh, it's it's out there. I know it's in the Southern California market. I think. Um, I haven't seen it here in New Mexico, but I'm I'm sure that distribution is is they should have no problem getting distribution for extra ideas. This is a, a beautiful product. Great distillery behind it. Um, can't say enough about it. I, I'd say get it. Yeah, I think uh, if you look them up, they they do have a website. They're on Facebook. They are imported, or, or excuse me, distributed by Pale Horse Imports, which you, they're on also on the web. Mm -hmm. Look them up and and get a bottle. Great stuff. Yeah, very delicious, very delicious. Highly Alice, recommend. I think we highly recommend it, and and uh, people should go out and get. Go out and get yourself some. <laughs> Well, thank you. This is uh, Alex Perez, and I'm, uh, I've been speaking with Mike Morales. We did a review of uh, Grand Mayan, and we, we highly recommend it here on Tequila Aficionado. Hopefully, you'll get to uh, try it, and we'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, once we post on uh, YouTube and also on TequilaAficionado.com, we'd love to hear what your thoughts on are, are uh, on uh, Grand Mayan. So, as always, thank you, Mike, and we always say sip wisely. Thanks for listening. Thank mm -hmm. you.